Hello and blessings my beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Avalon Cameron and today I'm going to be making a dream pillow or a sleep pillow more to the point. I'm going to take you out with me. We are going to pick everything up that we need. I'm going to the fabric store. I'm going to get the things that I need, crystals, herbs, etc. And I'm going to put it all together in the end. So keep watching to the very end. Now the reason why I'm making this is because my little boy said that he's having some nightmares and so I decided that I would put together this beautiful little dream pillow to help him have a much more positive dream sleep experience and as such have a more restful sleep. So if you want to see how I do this and of course you can make a dream pillow for just about any kind of reason or a sleep pillow for any kind of reason more to the point. It can really help to create intuitive dreams, it can really help for you to recall your dreams, it can really help you to have a more restful night's sleep. It can really help you in the dreamscape full stop, in the sleep cycle full stop, okay? So you can just adjust ingredients, change things around in keeping with what it is that you need. I'm going to make mine in keeping with a more restful and peaceful night's sleep for my son. So let's get started. Okay, so I have to go into Spotlight, which is a fabric, art craft, Superstore uh, in <laughs> in Hobart, and I'm going to pick up some twine, some fabric, some lace, anything that I feel uh, would be great to put into his little sleep pillow. So I'm going to take you along with me. We're going into the city. It's a 50 minute kind of trip, but I'm not going to film the whole thing, so don't worry. It is an absolutely beautiful day today, and I'm stoked to be leaving the house. Put it that way. Look at this day. Like, look at the day. Ah, <laughs> it's so good. We're going to drive out of my super bumpy driveway. Look at all that dirt road. <laughs> it's a hectic driveway to drive, let me tell you. But I'm used to it by now. just arrived in the city it took us a little while oh my gosh parking was difficult it was hard to find this place it's almost lunchtime I had a live stream this morning for card slinger tier and that happened at 8 so um, yeah it got us into town a little later than usual nevertheless we're here we made it oh, the elevator <laughs> We're on the top floor and that elevator does not look good. Let's see how we go. <laughs> straight into the elevator, this is my sister. We're straight into the elevator. We came around the corner and one of the elevators was working. We're straight into it. <laughs> so we're here at Spotlight and I'm just choosing the fabrics from this fabric pool here. These are small squares, so you don't really need anything more than, you know, just a, a little bit of um, fabric. But it's choosing the right colours and choosing, you know, the right pattern. You don't want it to be too leery because it's going into a pillow. So we're going to just choose. So I've chosen these little scraps here, which I think will differentiate the girls at least. And then the main fabric is going to be this one right here, which is difficult for you to see, but it's a light kind of blue, which is a really great colour for sleep and relaxation and peace. And it's got little stars and I thought, you know, sleepy theme, that kind of thing, for kids especially. If this was for me, I'd go, be going something totally different, you know what I mean? So we have got the fabric. I'm deciding now whether or not I should get some ribbon, just to decorate it or something like that, because I do plan on sewing a lava stone on each one so that there can be a little drop of essential oil added to them. But we will see, I'll see if we get there. inside a beautiful little um, you know metaphysical store and I'm choosing some stones to put inside the um, sleep pillows and I'm going for the properties of each of the stones so we're gonna have a bit of a peruse and I'm gonna see what feels good I'm gonna select them intuitively and go from there and I'll show you in the end what we've ended up with
obviously each person has his or her own needs or their own needs and it's really important to sit with that need for a minute to ground to center to identify it to tune into it and then to choose the necessary colors and ingredients accordingly I've just chosen three stones for um, for each child well actually two stones per child so um, two selections of stones I guess that's what I'm trying to say and with the colors of the fabric and and the herbs that I'm going to put into it each one is going to have something really individual per child so I'm very happy about that okay so this is my haul for the dream pillows or the sleep pillows so I ended up getting rose flower petals lavender more lavender because I needed more lavender and chamomile and then this is hops right here all very good for relaxation sleep dreaming and all of that kind of good fun stuff uh, I bought these little squares of fabric to somehow decorate and imbue the <laughs> the pillows and then I bought these two fabrics here and yesterday my son was over and he chose these two he didn't want any of this in his uh, and so I left it at that. I also picked up these stones right here. And here we go. This is Lepidolite. So good for sleep and removal of negativity and anxiety. And this is Azurite. So all very, very good for the purpose that I am using them for. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to roughly cut out the fabric uh, squares the size that I want. I'm going to do this really rough. I don't have a sewing machine. I don't even have ultra sharp scissors for this. I'm making this out of love because my son needs it, not to make it fancy. Okay, so just prefacing <laughs> this creation with that little message right there. So I've gone ahead and I've cut out some rectangles. I wanted it to be square, but it ended up being rectangular. Don't ask. Um, they're uneven sizes as you can see one is actually a lot smaller I actually want my dream pillow to be quite small for my son and so it's probably going to be more like say that there let me move this out of the way so it's like a little square like a little patch if you will so I'm going to sew it up now I'm sewing this by hand I'm old school when it comes to this type of thing. When I'm making incense, I use a mortar and pestle. When I'm sewing up charm bags and poppets and things like that, I do it by hand. The motion of doing this type of work by hand enables me to dip my beautiful little needle into an oil and to go for gold. There's a lot of intention and there's a lot of magic in sewing and weaving. And so I do not want to skip that step in favor of a sewing machine plus, plus, I don't know how to use a sewing machine and I have no intentions of learning. Um, not to be ignorant but more because I don't need to use a sewing machine for anything other than these small projects and this I know I can do by hand. I'm going to be using white thread and I've just got a new pack of needles here so I'm going to choose, choose the biggest one. I'm going to dip the needle in some of these oils so I'm definitely going to use frankincense because I'm also going to be use frank using frankincense in the mix I meant to say um, hide on the conqueror root because it's a nightmare situation I want him to be able to conquer that and I'm going to use a little bit of Florida water as well although I may choose to swap this out for some rose water um, in the end it just depends how I feel like I like to move through these things really intuitively and in keeping with how I feel it needs to go it's very easy to smoke cleanse through your fingers like this of course if you've got a small enough selection of botanicals to use. This is nothing hectic folks, it's just a nice little simple smoke cleanse. So you can do this with dried incense, you can do this with sage, with rosemary, with polo santo, you could do this with uh, dupe sticks, you could do this with stick incense not that I ever use dupe stick and rope incenses for this reason I like to use as pure the botanical as I possibly can which is why the woods always work well for me I've just added in a little bit of red rose petals I'll be adding in a little bit more so so far it smells really really nice adding now a bit of chamomile as you can see this one was originally grown in Egypt I got this from Gould's Apothecary in Hobart. 
and there it is. It's nice and twiggy. The last of the dry ingredients that I've added is hops. As you can see here, I've got a little bit of hops. Came in this uh, little packaging. I ended up getting it specially made because I didn't have a pre-prepared one, so it doesn't have a nice little label, but there you go. I'm sure you're all familiar with hops. It's a very soothing, calming botanical, and um, I've chosen to put it in here. I'm going to be adding just a couple of drops of frankincense essential oil and then I'm going to sew it up. I'm done. I've placed the crystals inside. I've tucked them right in there. I can, you can almost see them. Probably not, but they're in there. And then I will finish sewing this up. This, the stitch is going to be on the outside, so it's going to look quite messy, but the point here is what is inside the intention. It doesn't matter if it's not beautiful. I'm really not a believer of having to make something like this look beautiful in order to make it magical and effective. So if you don't have a skill with sewing, like I don't have a skill, a great skill with sewing. I know how to sew, but I don't have a great skill with it. Nevertheless, I'm still going to make something like this for my beautiful boy because he needs it. And necessity trumps aesthetic. <laughs> Here is the final product. Sweet and simple. It's dual sided. As you can see, my epic sewing. <laughs> I could have wrapped a little ribbon around it I might still do so just get a really nice little ribbon and tie around it and create kind of like a little bow tie effect there but the crystals and the herbs are in there what I'm next going to do and this is something that I'm going to do off camera and something that I encourage you to do as well if you're going to make one of these is to sit with this pillow sort of in between your hand breathe your love into it breathe your intention into it breathe your magic into it breathe that essence in there really animate it really create a dynamic life force this is its own form of charm it has two little crystals in there a selection of botanicals a few drops of essential oils and you can always dab a little essential oil on the corner of it as you go along it's going to make it a little bit oily yeah but the idea here is to make it a therapeutic uh element um, well, at least that's my idea is to make it a therapeutic element because my son has been having nightmares. And so I want that really fragrant type of envelopment when he lays his head down. I've chosen really beautiful, sleepy fragrances that also pack a punch as far as magic goes. And yeah, and then I might continue, continue to dab a little something here, there. And this is something that I can also pull apart one day and then redo as the uh, ingredients inside start to, you know, disintegrate because that will happen. Nevertheless, it's something that I can make something else, um, you know, a replacement for later on down the track. I don't know why it's so hard for me to speak right now. I guess I'm still in the magical mindset, but I'm really happy with it. And I can smell it from here. I'm quite quite a ways away from it and I can smell it from here so I'm really excited to give this to my little boy I think he's gonna love it and it's small enough for his little hands it's small enough for him to tuck into his pillow and I just think he can sniff it and just have a really nice sweet time so there you go beautiful souls that was my very all over the shop way of making a little sleep charm I'm going to make some for my girls but I've run out of time today so later on down the track his was a priority because he came to me asking me for crystals and for prayers and things like that because he was having um, nightmares and so I said I will make you something very very special and uh, yeah I hope he likes it so there you have it beautiful souls thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this and appreciated it do give it a thumbs up comment below because I love chatting with you share it around if you feel like it's something that another person will benefit from and of course as always I will chat to you again soon much love and many blessings Mwah!